Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number eight. And in this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about directory structures. Okay, so now we'll be able to start organizing things a lot more neater or a lot uh, tidier. Okay, so what do I mean by directory structure? Well, I'm simply talking about the folder structure on your computer. Uh, so basically this. Now, the simplest kind of folder structure that we can have is called a single folder structure. And that's where everything is kept in a single folder, uh, much like this, okay? So we've got my tutorial eight folder, and inside here is everything that I'm gonna use on my website. So uh, my index page and all my images, okay? Now, this is what we've been doing for the past few tutorials. So you guys know that whenever I want to refer to another file that's in the same folder, all I have to do is type the name, okay? So that is how we loaded up uh, this image from the previous tutorial, okay? We just set the source equal to this image name, okay? Now the reason that worked is because they're in the same folder, okay? So if I run this in Firefox right now, you can see everything works. Uh, my image shows up, that's great. But what happens if I want to start organizing my stuff into folders, okay? Uh, now that means that I would then be using something called an hierarchical folder structure. Uh, so quite a big word there, hierarchical. I think that's how you pronounce it, okay? And uh, that means that I need to go ahead and put all these images into a folder. So I'll go ahead and uh, make a folder called images. And this one and that one, they can go in there, okay? So now we've got my index file, and then we've got the images in a separate folder, okay? Um, now, if I go back to Firefox and I click refresh, well, what the heck happened, okay? My image isn't working anymore. And that's because when you go back to Notepad++, we told our, or we told HTML, we told our HTML file to look for this file called ash.jpg, but we didn't tell it where to look, okay? So HTML immediately assumed that it must be in the same directory, as in it must be over here. But we can clearly see there is no ash.jpg file here. Okay, so that's why HTML couldn't find it. So HTML couldn't find that image, okay? Now, we have to go back to HTML until HTML, no, no, no. We need to look in a specific place and you actually have to look in a folder called images and then you just have to uh, separate your image name from your folder name with the slash over here, okay? So this thing over here is your directory path. That's what its specific name is, okay? And now when we go back to Firefox and I click refresh, our image is back, awesome, okay? So we gave Firefox the correct file path or the directory path, okay? But all we've actually done here is told Firefox or told HTML that they need to look one folder down uh, and the folder's name is called images, okay? But what happens if we wanna go one folder back, okay? Or one folder up, okay? Then we've gotta do that a different way. So let me go to uh, this folder again, okay? And I'm actually gonna go back to tutorial six on our page about links. I'm just gonna copy that second page over there uh, and I'm gonna paste it I actually don't want it there. I want it in another folder uh, called other pages. So I'm gonna go other underscore pages uh, and then second page, okay? So I wanna open this up in Notepad++. And if you guys can remember, this is uh, the second page that we made in tutorial six where we linked to another web page, okay? Uh, 
And what I want to do here is try and load that exact same image again. Uh, so instead of actually typing those tags, uh, let's just copy this. Okay. Control C, Control V. Now when I save this and I want to try run this in Firefox, watch what happens. Okay. We've got the header, uh, which was clearly on our page over here, but then we only got the alt attribute of our image showing. So Firefox again, couldn't find this image. Okay. And that's not because, uh, we did anything like bad or whatever. It's just, we didn't tell HTML where to look, uh, correctly this time. Okay. Because again, HTML is now looking for this folder images and then looking for ash.jpg. Okay. So if we go back here, you can see where this page is. There clearly is not another folder called images. So again, that's where HTML got lost. Okay. So we have to tell HTML, go back one folder. That was my phone. Go back one folder and then look for a folder called images and then go to ash.jpg. Okay. So we've already got the folder images here and we've already got ash.jpg. So we just need to tell it to go back one folder. And the way we do that is we just type in dot dot and that's to go back one folder. Uh, but we have to separate everything with a slash. Okay. So dot dot slash means go back one folder, then look for the folder called images, then get the image called ash. Okay. So if we save this now, uh, let's just make sure we were right over here. So we were in other pages and we said, go back one folder, go to images and look for the folder called ash. Okay. So we found it, uh, with those instructions. So HTML should find it too. Okay. So let's go ahead now and uh, run this in Firefox. And as you can see, this is the second page and there is our image. Okay. So it's here. Uh, our directory path was correct. Okay. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and feel free to like the video, comment or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.